Lawsuit. Immigrant kids are suicidal, eating rotten food in secretive detention facilities. I feel like I've given up, says a 17-year-old from Guatemala. I feel like I'll never get out of here. Where is AOC? Where's Kamala Harris? They're all screaming about these concentration camps now that their 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 boy and their puppet is in office they are silent as hell she a aoc is as silent as they can come remember when she was crying and screaming and ringing in the parking lot in the parking lot <laughs> in the parking lot yeah she she is a grifter if you couldn't tell same thing with kamala harris well I'll give some people. Most people do not like Kamala Harris. That's why she received zero delegations in the primaries. First time a vice president has received zero delegations in the primaries. So really no one liked her. It's a moral failing and a national shame wherein children are locked away in overcrowded detention centers, reads then-candidate Joe Biden's presidential campaign website, but thousands of children are still receiving the, that treatment despite Biden's a case filed Monday in the U.S. District Court for the Central District of California shines a light on the crowded, unsanitary, and unsafe conditions that minors are currently facing in immigration detention facilities. Faced with record high numbers of people crossing the southwest border, the Biden administration has scrambled to build temporary facilities to house migrant children. Over 14,000 unaccompanied minors are now in the care of the Department of Health and Human Services. Detained minors in their testimonials for the case describe limited time outside, sporadic showers, and being served inadequate or unsafe food, including raw chicken and foul-smelling hamburgers. A 13-year-old Honduran recounted being locked up all day during five days in Customs and Border Patrol custody. A 14-year-old Guatemalan girl says that detainees at the facility in Houston had to drink expired milk when they ran out of water i was never allowed to make a phone call while i was there said a 17 year old hondorian who was in cbp custody for 11 days minors reportedly receiving few details about how long they would be in custody and many were transferred to other facilities with little notice or explanation those conditions have left detained minors despondent i used to be able to cope with my anxiety and breathe through it but now I feel like I've given up, said 17-year-old from Guatemala. I feel like I'll never get out of here. One child was placed on suicide watch, and another described how difficult it was to get an appointment with a counselor, though many girls in detention have thoughts of cutting themselves. Teens have resorted to cutting themselves with their identification cards since employees at one facility banned pencils, pens, toothbrushes, and even metal nose clips of N95 face masks over concerns of self-harm, according to the testimony in the workers' accounts. There is no one here I can talk to about my case, says 17-year-old Honduran detainee. There is also no one here I can talk to uh, when I'm feeling sad. There is no one here. I just talk to God and it helps me when I cry. It would help if I could have a Bible. Several of the miners who offered testimonials were held at Fort Bliss, a military base in Texas that now houses the largest facility migrant children the U.S. has ever operated. Reasons C.J. Uh, Carmela reported on the, unsan sun on the unsanitary, overcrowded conditions at Fort Bliss after obtaining secret recordings from the employees there. Workers spoke of equipment shortages, inappropriate co contact between staff and minors, and inadequate medical care for migrants. Well, those detainees have been slow to emerge because the Biden administration has sought a limited transparency about detention conditions, as denied journalists access to the border facilities, as in alleged COVID-19 precautions. Officials have also prevented nonprofit lawyers from conducting oversight visits. That approach has drawn widespread criticism from politicians, including uh, Murph Chris Murphy, who stressed the importance of press in holding the administration accountable. Good for him. Good for him. Should also hold AOC accountable for, you know, saying there are concentration camps under Trump, but not saying shit now. Not saying anything now.
It's disgusting how these politicians play politics with people's lives, and I think all of them should be thrown out of office. Because they don't care about you. They really don't. They care about power. That's all they ever care about. I'm going to reference this as much as possible, but AOC threw her abuela under the bus so she can um, score political brownie points. But that's going to be a video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.